Total defense budget accounts for about 13.29% of the total central government expenditure. If the scope of national defense is enlarged to national security, it would include expenses for civil defense, security aspects of the Department of Space, expenditure of the Ministry of Home Affairs, research and development, which roughly account for about 20% of total government budget. Over the past decade, the Indian Ministry of Defense has put into motion plans for an unprecedented modernization program of its defense capabilities. India's acquisition plans include a substantial procurement program for the Army, Navy, and Air Force. The government is seeking to develop a flexible, mobile, and network defense force with substantial power projection capabilities. Many of the assets India is acquiring are at the leading edge of technology, including 128 Sukhoi aircraft, Scorpion class submarines, advanced Russian T-19 main battle tanks, and state-of-the-art information and communication systems. The challenge for India in meeting its policy objectives will be expanding its indigenous production capabilities, as has been extensively talked about, at the same time as meeting its acquisition objectives. Currently, 70% of India's procurement needs are being met by foreign sources, with Indian companies supplying only around 30% indigenous items to state-owned companies. If the Indian Defense Forces increases its indigenous procurement from the current 30% to the target 70% over the next five years, the output of Indian firms would need to more than double each year. Over the past decade, the MOD has implemented a series of reforms to its procurement policy framework with the aim of reversing this historical spending pattern, including through the introduction of offset requirements for designated equipment. The sheer volume of planned expenditure is expected to create new opportunities for foreign firms as total spending will grow in absolute terms. Moreover, India's domestic defense sector, which will benefit from increasing requirements to buy local, as well as taxation arrangements that advantage domestic firms, will also likely require specialist inputs into both platform and systems development that can be met by foreign firms. There are greater opportunities for Indian defense industry to work with partnership or in collaboration with overseas companies, thus enabling them to have broader market access. In the near term, foreign companies will likely to continue to supply defense armaments and transfer technology. Let us take HAL as an example. HAL is India's only military aircraft producer. During 2007-2008, the value of production by all Indian defense public sector undertakings totaled nearly 19,200 crore rupees, about approximately $4 billion. HAL accounted for about half of total DPSU production by value in 2006-2007. In 2008-09, and HAL's turnover was $2.5 billion. US dollars. The company's current order book has a value of more than 60,000 crore, or about 13 billion US dollars. As with other DPSUs and private companies, HAL is India's main beneficiary of offset policies, and foreign companies often turn to HAL to meet these offset requirements, either through direct supply or by setting up joint venture arrangements. In terms of product lines, HAL has produced MiG-21s, Jaguars, the Hawk trainer aircraft, the group, advanced light helicopter. The company, as you know, is building the Sukhoi aircraft and has a one-for-one -one matching program for production of this aircraft with Russia. Under domestic production requirements, HR will also build 108 out of the 126 of the MMRC aircraft. HR will jointly develop the fifth generation fighter with the United Aircraft Corporation of Russia, and there are plans for a joint venture to produce a medium multi role transport aircraft. <coughs> BEM is one of the eight PSUs under the Ministry of Defense and has earned the Navratna status. Uh, BEM designs, develops, and manufactures sophisticated electronic equipment components for the use of the defense services, paramilitary organizations, and other government users. 
uh, private sector companies, many of them that are here, such as Starbucks, Mahindra, JLT, Unjwal, and Samtel, continue to largely focus on the components and intermediate manufacturing. Boeing for One has partnered with companies such as HAL and BEL to execute on its offset obligations. We signed a billion dollar MOU with HAL in 2007. HAL is currently contracted to manufacture the PHI weapons bay doors, tail cone, and IF-15, and the F-18 gun bay door and wire harness. BEL has delivered for the PHI the Indian design Beta Link 2. Boeing will install the system during PHI final assembly at its facility in Renton. DL is also our partner on the Analysis and Experimentation Center in Bangalore, which provides world-class modeling and analysis capability in support of the Indian Armed Forces. In India, we at Boeing are partnering with numerous small and medium enterprises, both directly and through its extensive network of suppliers. As an example, Boeing and our F-18 Super Hornet industry supplier team have signed MOUs with 38 Indian companies in support of the MMRCA campaign. Coupled with other Boeing programs, the MMRCA offset program would lead to the creation of a world-class advanced production system for India's future combat aircraft and provide the basis for significant export potential. 